All right, so uh, problem number five on the final exam will be a Moore circle problem. All right, but uh, I think I've told you I, I am not going to um, not going to make you solve for the stresses. Although I this one I think you could do. Maybe even try this one uh, using shear of V Q over I T and using a bending stress of M Y over I. Uh, you should get tension of 16 MPA and a shear stress 5.33 MPA right here and no sigma Y. Uh, but but anyway, for, for the final exam, that, I'm going to start you with this one. I'm going to give you an element. I'm going to give you all the stresses drawn on there uh, and then ask you to draw the Moore circle and then maybe uh, determine the principal stresses. Also, so yeah, probably like this. Also, Five, what are the stresses at 30 degrees clockwise? Okay, so first of all, let's just reiterate what we are given in the figure. All right, sigma x is positive 16 MPA. Sigma y is 0, sorry. Sigma y is 0. And tau xy, negative 5.33 MPA. Negative because it's pointing to that bottom corner. Positive would point to the top uh, right corner. All right, so uh, how do we draw our shear? Uh, how do we draw our Moore's circle? Uh, step one: Let's draw our axes, sigma and tau. Remember, tau is positive um, towards the bottom, right there. Uh, and so, actually, so let's kind of step two, I guess, or step one is draw the starting point. Right, starting point is sigma x tau x y. Right, this would be uh, 16 comma negative 5.33. So maybe we do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 16, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. All right, so this would be about right there, right? 16 comma 5.33. Let's draw the center at sigma average. Sigma average would be the average of 16 and 0, so it would be at 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Did I? I think I drew one too many dots here. Try, maybe try to make this a good circle. <clears throat> All right, so 2, 4, 6. This is at 8. This is at 16, comma, negative 5.33. So the average is... Sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2, right? 16 plus 0 divided by 2. Average at, at 8. <coughs> then let's find the radius. The distance between these two. So uh, think real hard about what that height, what that base is. That height is 5.33. The base is, it goes from between 8 and 16, right? So this would be 8. So 8 squared plus, so let's... Do radius 8 squared plus 5.33 squared. Take the square root 9.615. So the radius is 9.615. And then I like to start at the center and to go radius up, radius left, radius right, radius down. Right. So let me start at 8. So if I'm starting at 8, well, first of all, let me go radius up and down. Right. 2, 4, 6, 8. I'm going up to 9, I'm going down to 9.6. All right, then starting at the um, center 8, and I need to go to the right 9.615. What? Where would that lead me to? 9.615, all right, that would lead me to 17.615. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 16, 17.615 right here. And then if I go 8 and minus 9.615, that would lead me to negative 1.615. Negative 1.615. So maybe then I can kind of connect this. The, the better you space things evenly out, then the more yours will actually look like a circle. Uh, and those are the principal stresses. Sigma 1, 17.615 MPA. Sigma 2, negative 1.615 MPA. These are the principal stresses. 
right? Those are the points on your circle that go farthest left and farthest right. All right, farthest right is sigma 1, farthest left, sigma 2. So that, that, those are the principal stresses. Does it ask for theta p? It doesn't ask for theta p. It doesn't ask for the principal orientation, but I'm probably going to need to go ahead and find that angle I'm at on Moore's circle because I'm about to go 30 degrees clockwise from the orientation shown. So even though it's not asking for theta p, I'm going to go ahead and find uh, that angle. Let me see if I can find it. Find that angle right here from this triangle. All right, so if this is a 5.33 by 8 angle, let me call this beta, tangent 5.33 over 8, I've got a beta of 33.67 degrees. So theta p would be half of that. If it had asked for it, <coughs> theta p would be half of that. All right, it doesn't ask for it. But why do I need this? I need this. I need, I, I need to know that that angle right inside there, 33.67, because I want to know the stress is 30 degrees clockwise. So I need to rotate on more circle, how much? 60 degrees clockwise. Remember, one degree in real life equals two degrees on more circle. So if I want to know in real life 30 degrees clockwise, then on more circle I need to go 60 degrees clockwise. So if I am 33.67 above the um, horizontal and I rotate 60 degrees clockwise, I'm going to end up where at... Uh, 60, 33.67. I'm going to end up at 26.33 degrees below horizontal. 26.33 degrees below horizontal. So here's where I'm ending up with. I'm below horizontal. I am on more circle, 26.33 degrees below horizontal. And my radius is still 9.615. So let me find this base and height. Let me find this base and height. Well, this would just be 9.615 uh, sine 26.33. This would be 9.615 cosine 26.33. Uh, what are those values? What are those values? The base is going to be 8.617. Yeah, and this height, 4.26. Okay, but those aren't my new stresses, not exactly. This point what is still 8, right? Here's the origin. Here's the origin. And I'm trying to find the coordinates of this point down here. The coordinates are not 8, 6.617, 4.26. They are, let's see, 16.617. So here my sigma is 16.617. 617 MPA, and, and yes, my tau is 4.26 MPA, all right? So this is my new sigma x, I call it sigma x prime, and my new tau, tau x prime, y prime, I'm almost there, I need my um, sigma y, where is my sigma y? Sigma y is over here on the other side, all right, but it is still a 26.33 degree angle it still has this radius it still has this base of 8.617 it still has this base of 8 points so if i start at 8 and go backwards 8.617 then i'm at negative 0.617 mpa and there's my um sigma y there's my sigma y. So did I, did I answer everything? It didn't ask to sketch it. It just asked for those right there. Yes, I think I think we're done. Let's go go back and review what we did. If if we were given a figure, then we need to kind of clarify. Okay, those are the stresses that I'm, I've been given, and then you know you you can follow the same steps for more circle. <coughs> draw the axes first, but then draw your starting point. Draw your center. Uh, draw, find, calculate the radius, go the radius left, right, up, down. The radius left and right gives you the um, principal stresses. 
All right. Uh, but then find what angle you are at on Moore's circle so that you'll know. So, well, first of all, this is 2 theta p. In case it asks for theta p, divide that by 2, and there's your theta p. But you need to find where you're at to begin with so that you know, okay, when I want to rotate 30 degrees clockwise, I need to rotate, you know, 60 degrees clockwise. So you'll, you'll, you'll know where you're going to end up. So you, you know what kind of triangle you've got. You've got a triangle that's below horizontal at 26.33 degrees that still has a radius of 9.615. You can find the base and height of that triangle, but be careful, the base and height aren't exactly the coordinates. You've got to take the base and, and add where the center was uh, to get your real X coordinate. Now, yes, your Y coordinate is going to be your um, height right there. Um, and then you've got your stresses. You've got your stresses. Sigma Y is on the other side, so you just take this base that you found and go from the center and go left of that base uh, to get the sigma of the y face. All right?